Hello kindergarten parents, I'm Dan Carver, I'm the computer science teacher here at Carlisle and I'm going to be in charge of providing computer instruction to your student for a special this next quarter. So as I started planning out the lesson for remote kindergarten computer science I thought yeah, maybe I'd better make a video to explain what we're trying to do and why we're trying to do it and how I'm going to need your help. So when kindergartners come to school, they come in with a wide range of computer backgrounds. Many have lots of devices in their homes that they use daily, like tablets and phones, but what many don't have any experience with are traditional computers or laptops with mice and trackpads. And also, while many students have played around in apps, which are more controlled and intuitive, very few students have done anything with a web browser like Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or Edge. So when our kids come to school and they have to work on a desktop or a Chromebook, it's a brand new experience for them. And that's why the majority of my kindergarten lessons are spent teaching and practicing students how to use a mouse or a trackpad and how to use an internet browser. You know, your student has been remote learning and has spent a lot of time in front of their computer, but what I don't know is how much they've gotten to interact and use the computer, not just sit and watch Zoom on it. So ideally, what I'd like your students to be doing during computer science time is for them to be independently using the websites that I pick out in class with a mouse and practicing how to click appropriately and do things like click and drag. The important thing isn't the website or the game, it's the mouse manipulation and the processing of how to navigate a website. And that might take some time. Students might need a lot of help to know where to go and what to click on with some of these websites and you may have to be close to answer questions that they have or to get them back to where they need to be. Also, you might have to change my lesson to fit your situation. If you're using a device that doesn't have a mouse, that's okay, I get it. Feel free to adapt as needed. I know a lot of what we'll do this first quarter is going to look like we're playing games, and in some ways we are, but what we're really doing is practicing these skills so that in the second quarter, students will have mastered the use of the parts of the computer so that we can focus on other areas like computer coding. Please, change my lessons as you need to. Students do not need to be playing Starfall, Daniel Tiger, or ABC Mouse for 50 minutes. We don't even do that here at school because of the time that it takes to get computers and headphones out and get them all set up. So I don't expect you to do that either. 20, 30 to, 20 to 30 minutes of practice on a website is just fine, especially since your student already uses a computer a lot. Please contact me with any questions you might have. Teaching remote kindergartners how to use computers is a new experience for me, and so I'd love to know how it's going. Thanks, and good luck.